uh, growing up? Well, actually, um, I, I started late uh, playing soccer. Uh, I had uh, two older brothers, and uh, they were, uh, like, our age difference is, like, 11 years. And my dad would dedicate more time to them. So they started when they were, like, say, five years old. I started when I was nine. And um, over the time, like, I would ask my dad if we can go to the park and he can teach me some stuff or, or just stuff like that. But he would always have time for them. And on top of that, he also owned, like, a, a semi-pro team. And then uh, once uh, my brothers were able to drive themselves, then that's when he, he dedicated more time to me. And uh, that's where, I, like, I actually started to see progression. Soccer-wise, um, the things that inspired me was I wasn't really inspired to play soccer. I was more born into it. And uh, from that, like, I, I was pushed by my dad. Eventually, I was, uh, I was inspired more by my brothers because I saw them being com becoming successful with colleges, uh, offers, and all that. Well, soccer's been like a, a really big part of my life. Um, when I was younger, I actually wanted to try some other sports because uh, I was kind of pushed into soccer too. Um, but eventually, like I realized that soccer, like that's for me, and uh, I probably wouldn't be be any good at any other sport. Because uh, like I have such a huge background in history in my family with soccer, um, going into academics like I I highly value my academics too, um, but in my household for for my mom it's school comes first and then essentially that's how it's supposed to be. But with my dad it's it's sports comes first and I think that's really helped me to get where I am now because I think in life. Uh, you need somebody to push you. You need somebody to tell you that sports is first. And that way you can uh, you can improve and advance in your career. I think um, I think discipline is a uh, is a major key in that. And that uh, when I was younger, I would try and uh, I try and convince my parents that I was sick, so I wouldn't go to practice. But um, I think the main thing with that is is parents them having to to push you to go to. Even forcing you to go to an extent, um, but I think like some parents nowadays they're kind of easy, like they'll they'll let the kid decide, but to to become like su successful, it's it's the parents that need to push the kids at first, and then once they push them, that's where you'll you'll grow discipline, and that that will come natural. I. I had some friends on the team at first, and uh, they told me about the team. They they told me I should come and try out, so I did. And I came out. It was a, I think it was a Tuesday, and I presented myself to the coach. There was some tryouts going on, and he had no idea I was there. And I asked him if I can get a few minutes in, and he said, uh, "Yeah, we'll, we'll try and squeeze you in for at least ten minutes." So I go in and I start doing my thing, and. Uh, Eventually, he, he left me in for like 40 minutes, and uh, eventually he uh, asked me to sign with his team. And from there, it just went uphill. Yeah, um, with, with Rush, I've been, uh, I've been playing with all sorts of Rush teams. They, they've had me playing with the older team. They've had me playing with a team my age, and I think that exposure to new environments really helped me. Um, coaching wise, I, I love the coaches. They're they're great people. They're great coaches. Uh, players, I got along with everybody. Um, that really helped me. And uh, I think the thing that I I love the most about Rush is it feels like a family there. And everybody, there's with some teams, there's some drama, but at Rush, like it feels like you're supposed to be there. And the coaches, they really support you in, in everything you do. I've been invited to, to play with the U-20 El Salvadorian national team. Um, I'm going to be in concentration with them for six days. And then uh, we're off to Argentina. Uh, we're going to play some international friendlies against some clubs over there. First, I'm going to be uh, in El Salvador for six days. From there, we'll, we'll go to Argentina. Uh, we'll, ha we'll finish the rest of our camp there, as well as play some friendlies against uh, so Boca Juniors. Um, River Plate, uh, Arsenal, and uh, mainly this this trip serves as a 
kind of like a, a giant scouting report to which players they want to take to the qualifiers. Um, and this trip after this Argentina tournament, um, there's going to be some some qualifiers for the Olympics uh, sometime within the next couple of months. Uh, we'll see how it goes on this trip. Hopefully, I, I get called for the qualifiers in, uh, in Panama. I do, I do want to strive to play professional. Um, but first, you know, I, I want to play college ball. After that, um, I want to get my education first. And uh, then from there, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, professionally, uh, my brother, he plays professional. He plays uh, with the older team, with the El Salvador senior team. He also plays in Iceland. And I think uh, he's been a really big uh, inspiration for me. Um, he's also pushed me. He, he's been kind of like my second dad. Um, and... I, I want to try and follow in his footsteps. Well, if, you know, if nothing, if I don't make it in soccer, you know, I, I really enjoy uh, biology, and I want to make it uh, somewhere in the biological area, uh, maybe marine biology or, or something like that. Um, as a child, like, I was always interested with, like, nature, so I want to work with animals, with nature, uh, it's just stuff like that in that area. Cool. Uh, favorite player would have to be David Beckham. Um, reason for that is, uh, you know, David Beckham. He's a he's a big time English uh, player. Um, but what I liked the most about him was when I was 12 years old, I played on the Galaxy Academy, and his son Brooklyn was on the same team as I was. So I'd see Brooklyn and David at at trainings, at practices. And the thing that stood out the most to me about David was he was he, he, he was like another father. He was like another dad, like a soccer dad. He was really humble and like being a, a big time soccer player, like you didn't really see that. Uh, you just saw like a, a guy, just a dad trying to support his kid. And to me, like that, that's, it really matters that you're, you have all of this, but you're, you're still humble. And I think that's a key that everybody should have if you were to make it successful. My favorite player right now would probably be Yaya Torre. Uh, I like Yaya mostly because I'm a, my favorite team is Manchester City. And Yaya, you know, he, he's been with City. Like, he was at Barcelona before, and I, I'm a big fan of Barca. But Yaya, like, he, he's kind of the same thing as uh, David. He, he's really humble. Um, he's a great player. He always knows, like, what's going on, he, he keeps his head on a swivel, he's really strong, and in the Premier League, he, he really stands out. If I were to describe myself, uh, it would probably be determination. Um, you know, as, as a keeper, it's either you're, you're starting or you're not. There's no other positions, like, there's four different positions for the midfielder, defender, and stuff like that, but for a keeper, to me, if, if I'm not starting, I'm just I'm even more determined to, to get that spot. And if I am starting, you know, I'm I'm even more determined and pushed by the other by my competition to just keep it. You know, to be selfish, keep the time for myself. And I think that's a that's a good mindset for a keeper to have. Um, my best advice would be uh, stay disciplined. Um, you know, that'll that'll get you places even in the workplace. Um, you know, there's there's times to, to mess around with the team, and th that's always fun. But um, there's also times where you got to be a, a coachable player. That's and coaches really uh, they like that. Another thing is uh, don't take anything for granted. Um, you know, your your soccer days aren't going to be here forever. Your your parents aren't going to be providing for you forever. So uh, your drive for your soccer career would be, or it should be, to create a perfect environment to you know support your kids, support a family. And especially um, players my age, around high school, you know, college is right around the corner, and college, it's, it, it comes a lot faster than it actually seems. And, you know, it, it really matters what college you go to, because that'll set up the environment you want to perfect for, your, for yourself and for the next generation.